Hi everyone, Joel here again and today what we're looking at is a project I gave my year fours in Premiere Pro. This is a project where they have to cut together a promo for Melbourne tourism, Melbourne the city where we live. Um, what I got the kids to do is explore some stock footage that I had made available to them. They cut together the clips that they wanted to do and added some uh, titles and some music as well. So uh, really what, they've, what they learned that was new in this project was how to use the essential graphics uh, panel and how to nest sequences. So we're going to look at that today. So if we have a look at what we've got right here, I have a sequence here that has already the clips already in here. I've got this uh, Google Maps or Google Earth video here and I've got some clips here in different categories. You can see I've got some cities, some food, Melbourne's very famous for its restaurants and cafes, famous for its sport. Um, the Melbourne Star is a nice landmark here. Some river shots here on the Yarra, uh, some beach shots, and finally some time-lapse video at night. Okay, so I've put all, all this together. It goes for just over two minutes. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, just for an organizational point of view, is it occurs to me that I've got a lot of these little clips here. And I know from working with young students that often these clips can be accidentally, you know, trimmed or deleted or moved on top of things. And suddenly, you know, people who have not quite as good um, motor control as they, sh as, as they might do later in life, uh, this can become quite a problem. Okay, let's just undo all of those, so I get it back to the way it should be. And what we're going to do is we're going to nest these sequences, and essentially what I'm going to do is box some of these clips into a uh, group. So I'm looking at the first few after the map, I've got one, two, three, four, five clips of the city before it moves on to the next category. So what I'm going to do is just draw a little marquee, starting at the bottom here, away from the clips, drawing this little marquee selection over the clips I want to nest, right click and choose nest. I'll give it a name, I'll call it city, press OK and now it's in a nice little block. Much easier to move this block than it is to move all five of those blocks and uh, if you need to put titles in between. Definitely a time saver. Now this is a non-destructive process which means I haven't lost those clips for good. If I needed to go through and do some editing or um, uh, add some effects off something, all I have to do is double click on that city nest here and it opens it up in a new sequence and there you can see very clearly there are all my clips still there um, ready to do whatever editing I might need to do. So I'll close that. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do all the rest of them and I'll then talk about the title. Okay, so here we go. I've nested all these uh, little clips into blocks. That's going to be much easier when I have to move these around and put some titles in between. Okay, so the next step is to do the Essential Graphics uh, panel. Let's show that by going to Window and Essential Graphics and bring that up here on the right. Uh, there are different folders with different categories. The one I'm looking at is Titles, so I'm going to double click that. And I think the one that I'm going to use for the main title is this one here called Bold Title. So these are built in titles and lower thirds and credits and all sorts of things that now comes with Premiere Pro. These ones here that have uh, symbols on them, this is telling me that uh, these require Typekit fonts and uh, I don't have Typekit signed in on this particular computer so I can't use these ones. In any case, I'm going to take this bold title and I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put it on top of my Google Earth video right like that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and this is not just a title, it has a bit of animation that goes with it as well. Okay, so to edit this title, what I need to do is use my type tool. So I'm going to get my type tool here, and I'm going to click inside here, and then just press Control A to select all, and I'm going to call this Melbourne, oops, Melbourne like that, and then click on this other one here, Control A, and call this uh, Best City in the World something like that. Okay, um, And I'm not going to, but I just wanted to point out that as you start clicking on these titles, you'll see all these options that come down here. You'll notice that this whole um, uh, title is made up of three elements. It's made up of this Melbourne box here, or this, this main box, uh, this frame that goes around it, and this subheading here. And each one, each element has its, all, its own separate um, settings. 
So I could go ahead and change the font. I could change the alignment and the fill and the shadow and all of that sort of thing. I could change the frame about what color it is, what size it is, what position it is. Each element I could change. I do find that sometimes the younger children occasionally make the mistake of instead of clicking inside the box, clicking outside the box, which creates a separate text layer and that that becomes a big problem when doing the, the whole thing. So uh, I can just right click that. There's no actual delete that I've been able to find here for that. Uh, I can't even, oh yeah, I can just press the delete button, that's fine. Okay, so there we go. So now I've just done that and as I just, I'll take it here and I'll play it. You can see the animation. There we go, nice. Okay, so now I'm going to do some chapter titles, or at least that's what I call it. I'm going to zoom out of this a bit so I can drag some things around. I'm going to switch to my arrow selection tool and just make some spaces here between each one, just like that. And, oops, I made a mistake. Undo that and fix it up. Um, okay, here we go. Now, I don't think I've left enough space here for this, but we'll work it out. Um, I am going to choose to put these chapter titles on the um, V1 track because I do want them to dissolve into the video. So we'll do that. Okay, I might just select all of these and just move them over. Hang on, let's try that again. Oops, I'm having all sorts of problems. Let's try it again. There we go. And here, yeah, I always have my fingers hovered over Control Z um, to undo a mistake that I often make. All right, good. Now, I'm going to go to my uh, central graphics panel again. I can't see anything. It's in edit mode right now, and since there is nothing that's selected, there is nothing here to be seen. So let's click on Browse, and this one I'm going to use this angle title and bring that in, just like that. And what I tend to do for the kids is I say, okay, do them first and then type in your text after. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to go back to Browse. I'm going to get this in here like that and then click that over here, and then I'll click on Browse, and then get another one. I suppose I could do a copy-paste, but sometimes that can be a little bit troublesome, and it might end up in a different space than you want to. And just a little tip, instead of moving this over to the side, what you can do is right-click this space, this gap in between, and choose Ripple Delete, and that will just snap it there. Okay, let's quickly do some more. There we go. Okay, now um, they're all a set size. I can extend this further if I wanted this to go um, over a longer period of time, but the period of time that it's in is good. Um, and as you can see, it comes in and it sort of pixelates out. Okay, so let's look at this one first. I've got my playhead on the right thing. Um, don't make the mistake of clicking it and then using your type tool and going inside it. I often find it's much easier just to not have anything selected. Use the type tool, click inside the words, control A, and I'm gonna call this one Melbourne City. That's the category it is, city. And in fact, for this one, I might just select the word Melbourne and then give it a um, heavier, bold look. Call this heavy, like that. So it has that kind of appearance. And I'm going to do the same for all the others, for the different categories. Um, now, I, I, again, we could have just taken this, copied it, and pasted, 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 pasted. I kind of like the idea of getting the students to do it the long way, so that they have practice in pressing, you know, clicking inside the box accurately, control A, um, typing in their, um, their title, selecting the word they want to make bold, and doing that. Um, it just, it, it, it helps them get the routine in place. And see, so look at that, I accidentally clicked here while I was still in type mode and I've created a extra text layer. It doesn't really matter, it's not going to show anything because I haven't typed anything, but just to tidy up, I will um, just press, just click on that and press delete. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do that and then we'll do the last part of our movie. Okay, so the last job then is to add some music to this. So I've got a music bin here, which I'll double click, and I'll just bring in this song that I've downloaded from Royalty Free Site. There we go. And I might just need to 
um, add some more music there. Um, I, I should do a proper job in mixing this properly, but I'm not going to do it right now. But that gives you an idea of how it would be. Um, and now I can sort of move it through. And I'm seeing some red here. There are some areas that are not um, rendering properly. So if I want to play this back properly, what I'm going to need to do is go to Sequence and Render. Okay. Now what I'm going to actually do is go to my timeline mark an in point with I, and then go to my end of my film here and press O for out. So I've marked both of those. And now I'm just going to go up to my sequence and go render into out. And that should fix up any of the dropped frames or anything that's happened that uh, Premiere Pro, at least with this computer, is having difficulty um, picking up all those frames, rendering it in real time. So let's choose render into out. Um, always a good thing to do. That's it there. Um, this will take a few minutes, so I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, everyone, so now that I've done that, I have um, uh, rendered out all these uh, dropped frames, so now I've got some nice green that's happening here. I don't have any issues, um, and now I'm just ready to publish. Okay, so I'm not going to go through that. I've, I've gone through that, how to publish videos and separate videos before, but I just wanted to show you a couple of techniques using the Essential Graphics panel and also using uh, nested sequences. Definitely very useful when dealing with kids who are a bit shaky with a mouse. So thank you very much for listening. If you don't already know, my blog is now an ebook, an interactive uh, EPUB ebook that has uh, all these videos plus more. Um, I've gone back and re redone a whole lot of the earlier posts and videos that I've done. I've collated all this into a book. I've included a whole lot of links with downloadable content that is not available on the website and all of this just for $29.95. So please click on this link here if you want to have a look at purchasing that book. Um, it would help me a lot in keeping this site and keeping this endeavor together um, and give me all sorts of whatever kind of feedback that you you could um, give me would be really appreciated. Okay, so thank you very much for listening.